I saw these in my basement. I didn't know what the heck I was going to do with them. And I thought to myself, why not hang them and then shoot at them with my flu flus out here at Archery Park. This one here is five and a half inches in diameter and spins in the slightest breeze. I have a second one that's six inches and it spins even faster. I of course have my tee balls. And so I'm just gonna have some fun. Those of you are concerned, arrows with rubber blunts, low weight bow. over top. setting. I've been out for about, I don't know, an hour or so. I wanted to comment on, you know, um, I wanted to comment about shooting those metal discs that I got hanging that spin in the wind. What I'm noticing is that you have to hold a bit longer, which I can do considering I'm just using lighter weight bows. I mean, I'm shooting in the archery park with flu-flu arrows. It increases my challenge, and then I'm shooting with the lower weight bows. The arrows don't go very far, they don't really go that fast. But I'm noticing that as it's spinning, if you wait, and hopefully I'll, it turned out on camera, if you wait and you catch it on just the right angle, you can deflect the arrow going that direction. It's kind of cool. Um, yeah, I'm out at the park having fun and experimenting with these things. I actually set the tennis balls up and I really hardly ever pointed at the tennis balls. I was more interested in pointing at those pieces of metal. Little discs. I don't know where I got them from. I just found them in my shop and went, oh, hey, I could use these. So I started using them. Um, focusing on a spinning object is challenging and interesting. I would wa wouldn't want to shoot them with a higher weight bow. <laughs> I'd be too scared what that would do. Um, but with the lower weight bow, you can hold, hold for a little bit longer and you can focus on what you need or you want to hit. So... Keep having fun, guys. <laughs>